javelins, freelancers, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another update from Atham Universe. I am but one of your hosts, Ogaz, and today a small but interesting update. Some cataclysm PTS news from yonder for all your freelancers today, as well as some sneaky images into both the armor and vinyl wraps that we can expect to see in the very near future. And needless to say, they're all impressive pieces of kit. Now with a recent update from community manager Jesse on the EA forums, we now know the public test server, of course, version 1.2.2, if you're counting, running the Cataclysm content on PC has come to an end today. It has also brought with it some fresh assets. Now, our friends, of course, over at Anthem Archive, the crew behind many of the old school Destiny data mines, and of course, their very own Giovanno, have been exporting a number of assets uh, since launch, ranging from in-game icons, the now infamous loading screen images, and indeed the armor sets, uh, to come with the coming cataclysm and beyond. So the biggest drop we have from this latest data mine of the PTS is the coming armor set titled the Crystal Set. Now looking like some white walkers are crossing the north wall, I sense there'll be a welcome addition to the other nine or so armor sets that we've seen per javelin already. And we've also got here the Cobble Ranger which I'm very impressed with. The Full Ball Colossus, which I have a particular, this is a very sexy design aesthetic that has going on here. It's almost anti-Colossus in a way. It's, it's not what we've come to expect from the big mountainous beast. A bit more streamlined and sexy. And my personal favorite curiosity, the Aether Interceptor. This looks like, I don't know, like uh, Princess Leia Bounty Hunter or something, something straight out of that. A very, very different take, almost something out of Destiny. In fact, some people have commented, which I certainly agree, there's certainly some similarities in aesthetics. And of course, this doesn't negate the cost factor to all this. You know, sitting at a pretty 61,000 coins, and I should add alongside the current vinyl wraps as well. I, as many freelancers, have actually struggled to require a lot of the desired armor sets that we've wanted to get in the given rotation of three days. Now we can only hope that armor moves to a better value proposition post the 1.3 update. I'm not confident of that of course, it's yet to be seen, but there's certainly something that can be done there for us to increase the ability, the capability of us to be able to acquire some of that content um, even through everyday grinding. Still, the extent of some of these new assets from the PTS build is probably a reminder of the diversity of that artistry, that gorgeous, beautiful artistry behind Anthem, which some argue has actually been some of the best elements of the game. It's also a reminder, of course, of the world and content to come. Now, Bioware have more in the tank here, that's pretty clear, if freelancers are still willing to dive into the Cataclysm and beyond. Of course, time will tell. Secondly, some of the vinyl wraps that we're seeing to come out of this build are just sen bloody sensational. Uh, modeled by our lovely ranger here, of course, there's just a whole bunch to come. But certainly, probably my favorites of the series you're seeing here are the Fractured Twilight, Lucid Night, Splintered Citrine, Crystal Sky, and this is something I can't wait. This is a guarantee. I don't, I don't care how many credits. I'm getting this. The Mad Titan. Check out this. This is something special. Uh, of interest, one definitely can see some of the Destiny influence here, like I mentioned. Not just that, but in the iconography, the Cataclysm map, some of the indicators. I'm just seeing a little sense of familiarity, which I think is probably not a bad thing. That's even coming from the armor designs as well. Now finally, in other news, version 1.3, the final release of Cataclysm, will be dropping, but we don't know when that is. Uh, some alluded to the possibility of it dropping in the next day, given the fact that server maintenance is approaching, and of course, the PTS server has been closed. Uh, that is definitely not the case. Um, the server maintenance will be just a regular server maintenance. I suspect, though, underneath the update that is coming, there will certainly be more prep and content and progress of assets being loaded in in preparation for the coming storm and the epic cataclysm that awaits. Now, we're going to leave it there for now. We'll take a look at another video separately on some of the elements around the PTS. No doubt some of you who aren't on PC have probably yet to be exposed to that. But needless to say, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of new opportunities there. I'm not 100% convinced that this one piece of content is going to draw the masses back. But I do suspect at the very least that a vast majority of people who have Anthem already will certainly come back to try this and their time most certainly will not be wasted. There's a lot of fun to be had here. I had more fun immediately with groups. Um, certainly not as much fun by myself personally. Probably just a personal taste, but um, I think if you can group up and you can matchmake with enough players back, um, all will be improved.
Now, freelancers, I think it's time to wrap this up, so I'm going to leave it there. Of course, uh, as per usual, check out Anthem Universe on Twitter, which is at Anthem Universe. Jump in the Discord. You can check that out, which is discord.anthemuniverse.com. Uh, and, of course, jump in, have a conversation, and, of course, like, subscribe, all the usual things. Thank you once again. We're going to leave it at there. I am Orgaz for Anthem Universe. Javelins, freelancers, we will see you next over the wall.